Special announcement, don't miss out on. Special pop-up Magic Monday epic. There's a lot of adjectives right there. Do you need more? Episode. This Monday on the Tosh and Debbie Show. This channel, this time, Monday. Special episode. It's awesome. You're gonna love it. We're excited about it. Be here. Or be square. Did I just say that? You did. No, <laughs> Lord. Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Hi, welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. You're in an awfully good mood this today. Because we're going to look at a place we've been wanting to look at mm -hmm. for a long time. That's right. And if you missed the be very beginning, don't forget we have Magic Mondays coming up in September randomly. Not every Monday, so. That's right. They're just going to pop up. <laughs> so today, this episode has been requested by many. We've been told to check this place out, but before we check that out, could you check out that like button? Hit it. <laughs> Hit that like button. <laughs> and consider subscribing, but only if you want to. That was good. We're, we're trying to get cheesier and cheesier on these things as much as we can. Um, so, where are we going to look at today, Debbie? I have no idea. I'm just kidding. We're going to go see Brighton. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know. We're being cheesy. <laughs> Alrighty then. Get the Gouda out. Um, right? We're going to look at Brighton. Yes, finally. Uh, we've been wanting to look at Brighton for a long time. It's been um, asked and, mm -hmm. um, and been suggested many, many and, times. And told to us, you look at Brighton now. Mm -hmm. And so we, we're doing that. We're late. Sorry. Um, this is funny because I just read the beginning of the description of the video here. And not that we've looked at this place because we haven't yet as a county, but it's in East Sussex. Brighton is. Did not know that. And now we do. I mean, I didn't know that. We haven't yeah. done a video on Sussex as its own yet, east or west or whatever. Um, but uh, that was just interesting to me. But it's a seaside resort. So, I mean, come on. South Coast of England, seaside. It, it has to be awesome. I'm so. excited about it. Are you? Let's find out. Because this is why you should visit Brighton. That's the video we're doing. And mm -hmm. I think um, I think it's going to be a good one. So sit back, relax. Let's take a, a stroll on the seaside and check out finally for the very first time brighton welcome back today i've come down to the south coast to come to london by the sea or known as the happiest place in the country the gay capital of the mm. uk and also the spookiest welcome what? What? to brighton <laughs> spooky that's not something we knew it was the gay capital of the uk yeah but we'd not heard anything about it being spooky mm -mm. oh that's beautiful this will be interesting. Oh, wow. Whoa. That's spooky. That's neat. That's spooky. Whoa. That's Hello. Oh, birds. Who the Italian flags or am I crazy? That looks interesting. It's ornate. Huh. What? It's like a cloudy day. A little foggy. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. That looks neat. Whoa, what is that? It's like what a is space needle. It does. So it's only right that whilst we're here in Brighton, we're gonna start the tour on the pier. We're gonna head into the town, check out the beautiful Brighton Pavilion. What? That used to be owned by royalty. And of course, the big revolving tower that has been built by the same company that built the London Eye. So let's walk on Brighton Pier. The one place was Taj Mahal. And yeah. um, first thing you'll notice about Brighton Pier Whoa. Wow. is the uh, Victorian architecture Hold for the up. front about Brighton Pier. Look at the vastness of that. Yes. I didn't expect this. No, not at all. That's a huge pier. And oh, I wasn't so even fun. looking at the pier. It's funny. I was looking at how long it is. <laughs> I was looking at like all the beachfront area there. Yes. But now that you say that about the pier, yeah, that's huge. Um, 
Okay, I just didn't expect all this. This is like yeah. monstrously big, and it, I didn't think it was going to be like this. Mm -mm. Well, you guys just never cease to amaze us. I can already tell you I want to go on that pier. Why go to the United Kingdom if you're not going to take the time to learn about these places existing? Right? You're missing so much stuff. If you go to a country and you don't take the time out mm -hmm. to really truly look it up, research it, get an idea of what you could be missing, if you, I just yep. don't get it. This is beautiful. Is the uh, Victorian architecture at the front? Hmm. I mean, it literally hasn't changed in years. <laughs> that clock tower. Look at the sign. I like that. I like old stuff. Thank you, Friday. Now, there are some piers on the south coast that you actually have to pay to go on. Okay. Um, thankfully, Brighton is not one of those. Wow. Whoa. You can see it gets some, uh, some beautiful sunsets. It's one of those really annoying days where Ooh. it's like sunny, but it's also foggy yeah. mm. at the same time. That sign said donuts and grapes. <laughs> if you want to know what that is, we'll come to that in a little bit and check Again. that out. Obviously the beach here in Brighton, yes, it's a shingle beach, which is a little bit of a shame, but it doesn't stop um, thousands of people coming to Brighton every year. Obviously, we can't go into the amusements. They're still currently shut because of COVID. So we're going to walk around this way. This video is like a year and a half old, I think. See how pretty those lights are, though. All glass as well. It's really weird cool. the difference in temperature as well when this fog comes in. I mean, literally, I was on the seafront and it was like yeah. um, about 18 degrees. Just come on here and it's like a lot cooler. 15. Wow. Oh, I want to see the lights on it. Mm -hmm. now, I believe some of the rides are open, actually, today. So we're going to check them out. Brighton Piers had a very interesting history in the past with fire and other issues. We heard about and that of on of course it's the, uh, the only ago. pier now yeah. that is left in Brighton. Oh really? As the other pier obviously burnt down so many times. So many times. And it's kind of just been left as a bit of a historical memory. Look at that. That's beautiful. Mm. 24 karat gold ice cream. Yes, please. Oh, crap. I'm going broke, aren't I? Wow. I want to try that. Nine ice cream and milkshake. <laughs> it's quite nice, actually. You can see the history of uh, Brighton Pier and all these little boards, which tells you what it used to look like. All these little oh, wow. light archways Whoa. they used to have um, back in the 1900s. Highly impressed. Now, obviously, I've come during the, uh, the week, so it's fairly quiet, but on weekends, um, and on summer evenings, it gets very busy. I bet that's packed. I love the fact it's like a little mirror ball up there. Can you see that? Weather bean. Wow. Palm Court Restaurant. And as you know, I love going under piers and I'm definitely going to be checking out underneath the Brighton Pier because um, it is very impressive. We'll come to that in just a minute. Oh, that's it's a shame the restaurants aren't open because I could have mm -hmm. done with the coffee. Uh, but I'm going to walk to the end of the pier actually to check out the uh, the amusements and uh, the fun fair. <laughs> the seagulls love to interrupt me all the time. I love the fact people on deck chairs that enjoy the view, oh. even on a cloudy day like today. How many of you recommend we don't eat? on the pier with our fish and chips with the seagulls right there. <laughs> I think Debbie will love that since she's not so fond of birds anyway. You go inside and eat. <laughs> I'm sure that's all. Ooh, toffee apples. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> and candy floss and ice cream <laughs> and crepes. Crepes. That's so pretty. We've got this really cool haunted hotel, which I'll show you in just a second. Aww. The gallopers that have been here for about 20 years, <laughs> we had this argument the other day, are they called gallopers or are they called... Carousel. Mm -hmm. Carousel. Let me know in the comments. Never heard gallopers in my life. The no. traditional helter-skelter. Ah, that's oh. interesting. And this ghost house looks really good. There's a door that opens up there, look. That. <laughs> no. Interesting. <laughs> comes out. Oh, there's another door opening up. UK, you confuse me sometimes. It's got no face on it. <laughs> That's interesting. Coaster fans out there will love this uh, retro loop-loop coaster called Turbo. 
Yeah, it's pretty intense. The words retro and roller coaster don't work for me. <laughs> no, sorry. They How old is that roller coaster? They still safety check them. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'd go on it, but uh, I'd definitely pull my back. Aww. I'm with you, man. <laughs> Crazy mouse. In fact, they've got a crazy mouse right on the end What's of the that? pier. Amazing. It's like another roller coaster. Don't you love the oh. fact when you're on a dodgem, it always says no bumping. Because <laughs> they're not actually made for bumping, even though people call them bumper cars. They are too. They're supposed to be dodgems. The idea is you're supposed to dodge people. A misconception that I always <laughs> didn't even realize. Sorry, just really quickly. That's the first time I've ever heard someone say dodgems, except for one person. Not that I heard him say it, but mm. Elvis Presley. Oh, yeah. Elvis's favorite ride was the Dodgems, mm -hmm. but we never have referred to them as anything oh. other than bumper cars. So I find that very interesting that you guys do. So I guess it was something referred to, I don't know if it was all of America back in the, back in the day of Elvis's mm -hmm. time, or just the South. I don't know. But don't I've, know. I've only heard the term Dodgems being used that from Elvis, mm -hmm. knowing that that was his favorite ride at amusement parks. So interesting. That is. And you can't dodge them unless somebody's trying to bump into you. So, you know, <laughs> you got to bump it. I do to love dodge it. cars. They're fun. <laughs> this is interesting as well. Look, the um, the twister that you've oh seen at other fun oh, fairs. Oh, I used to love those cover on it. I used to love those. Mm -hmm. And perfect on a hot day. If you want to go on the log flume. Oh, Ooh, one of my favorite rides ever. Did you hear what he called that? A yeah, log okay, flume. we're not going to argue about it. Why are you saying that? <laughs> she didn't believe that it was called a flume water ride. We were just having this yeah, we argument, <laughs> conversation, so disagreement. We had a discussion. Like two a discussion. weeks ago. What did I call it? I don't remember what you called it. Just a water, water, water ride. Water ride. <laughs> <laughs> no, like a log flume. I'm like, what She's the like... heck's a flume, Debbie? I'm like, no one says flume, just you. I <laughs> looked it flume. up and I knew she was right, but yeah, okay, whatever. That's like one of the best rides ever. It is. I think it's so cool that they have this on the end of the pier. That is. I'm not going to go on it today because this incredible. is not waterproof. Yeah. There's some steps up here. Let's have a look where this goes. Ooh. To the log flume. What's a flume? <laughs> I don't know what a flume is. The comments will not let us know. Oh, it's a viewing area, basically. Yeah, where you get soaked. Watch your camera. That one looks interesting. I want to go on it. Mm-hmm. See, I want to go on it, but I, I just don't want to get wet and cold. <laughs> if the sun would have been out, I'd have probably gone on it. Weigh it. But it's just so weird to see that right on the end of the pier, look. Mm-hmm. It's kind of creeped me out, actually, a little bit. So you can buy a wristband or you can literally mm. pay as you go. No, wristband. The most expensive ride on here is that uh, booster for seven quid. I'm good. Goes down to the cheapest, which is the Helter Scout for 150. Mm. There you go. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you. And for those people that love to get freaked out, What's you can actually do? see the sea ah. underneath That'll there. bother you. Thank you. No, that wouldn't. Yes, it will. It would not. Here we go. Was the haunted hotel? No, it was Helter Skelter. Reaction cam. Here we go. All I know is. Ah! Oh yes, we are going up because we're going down. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> as far as uh, ghost trains go, it's pretty mediocre. We're going outside again. Mediocre's okay. I'd give it a shot. I hope something scary happens soon, or I'm going to get my money back. I think you're going to get your money back. <laughs> I know, I feel like someone or something should have jumped out right there. <laughs> so much bored. Okay, that's the scariest we've seen so far. What a letdown. More for kids? Well, the outside looks better than actually. Oh, that was the. I'm sorry, that was the horror house. Going on the inside. There's five pan I'll never see again. Horror or hotel. Four fifty, I think. So it's always a must. Sorry, I was wrong. To go on a pier, uh, in my opinion, Brighton Pier. It's really good. The rides are good, apart from the ghost train. A little bit pricey though, especially if you've got a big family with you. But um, 
Again, the food is a bit pricey too, but um, on the whole, I'm glad I didn't have to pay to come on this pier because a lot of the piers on the south coast, you actually have to pay to go on them, gotcha. which is crazy, isn't it? It's a bit weird. But I think that's the way they, uh, they do the upkeep of the pier. And uh, like, it's crazy to think about these boards on the pier, how often they need replacing. Mm -hmm. It kind of adds a character though, each time a new board is replaced and then you get like a, a squidgy board. <laughs> These breakwaters well, are sweet. truly oh, wow. epic. I mean, they look like boats made out of yeah. uh, what looks like the same kind of bricks that castles yeah. would be made from. And that is what you call a cool little place to what, get cell mobile phone, phone covers okay. in this little hut. I need one from there. <laughs> I do. I've always got to do it. I'm going underneath. Brighton Pier, to check it out. This is a very popular place for looks spooky to come. It's a shame it's a little bit misty down here, but um, again, I love coming under piers. They're so atmospheric. And with the fog, it makes it look actually really spooky. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think that'd creep me out when I go back up. And what's even more spookier is that mm -hmm. oh, now i'm yeah. not familiar with what this is so if anyone well, no. can tell me in the comments let's walk away i then. know it might be something as obvious as a, <laughs> a storm drain but i love that these bricks they, it looks like a castle it really rather does. than I, i'm sure what is sea defense oh don't go in there we get over here and have a look in there it's a dungeon to. yeah i think this must be some kind of storm drain or something but uh i've got to go and look in here oh no, I imagine if that. water started gushing out now. Or some dude, <laughs> storm drain or something? Let me know in the comments what it is. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> That's really cool. So it's a real shame I can't take you in here. This is the oldest working aquarium in the world. Huh. It was built oh, back no. in 1872. What? And the architecture for this place That's is crazy. truly amazing. It's just a shame it's not open. That pier was great, by the way. Mm. Loved that. Just wanted to take you to show you this. Now, at first, wow. I thought that this was like a watchtower with a lifeguard in it or something mm. like that. But no, this is Brighton's zip line oh. and it flings you across the beach again uh please no come on mom nope <laughs> you go ahead honey nope you really won't that way you go ahead i'll ride one of those little bikes that um what, what, bi what bike where's our bike he walked past some bikes for rent <laughs> that is there is not a trade-off zip line or a bike where how does that make sense you zip line on down there and i'll ride my bike and meet you at the end who wants a zip line with me in brighton helen i'm looking at you because that's way too far off the ground. Oh, it is not. Oh, yeah. It's not that bad. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. uh, I've just come on a really bad day. It's not open. Otherwise, I would have so given that a go. Woody. Oh. So if you come into Brighton for the first time, there's lots of things to see. And there's lots of things to do. And it can be a little bit overwhelming. So my suggestion and something that I'm going to do is pop on one of these. It's a sightseeing bus. It oh, goes around every 30 and 60 minutes. And you can literally pop on and pop off at all the major sites. So let's do it. Let's pop on. I'm still not used to the pop on. So pop is this valid all day? All day till half past three. Half past three in the morning. Oh, half past three in the morning? Yeah. Okay. So all day, all night as well. Okay. All wow. Night. Wow. Fantastic. So I don't think I've ever been on a tour bus before. Yeah. Where should we go? Get next to that random dude. How cool. <laughs> let's go here. That is really cool. Because Brighton is so big, um, these are a great idea. You can hop on and off. Huh. You can see where it goes along the seafront. And what's great is I can pop on and off. The only problem is, is obviously you have to wait 30 minutes for the next bus. Oh. So obviously you get some headphones. These are like retro headphones that I used to have as a kid. All right, let's see. Okay, let's have a listen. That's so pretty. That's really cool. It's beautiful. It's really interesting. I've just done this and uh, I've managed to change the language to Chinese and I can't seem to change it back. <laughs> <laughs> that so the odd. first ever Banksy was here as well and apparently it's just by the station. Really? Someone bought it for about 350,000 pounds. So just literally mm. further down the road from Brighton Pier, 
uh, we come up to a grade one listed building that obviously a lot of people will realize when they come to Brighton is a bit of a landmark and it's a former royal residence. Isn't that Taj Mahal thing? And it is yes. very impressive. That is it's wow. also known as the Brighton cool. Pavilion, grade one listed. It was the former royal residence built back in 1787. It was built in three stages. Mm. And it was uh, originally as a seaside retreat for George, the Prince of Wales, Jeez. who became the Prince Regent in 1811 and King George back in 1820. Wow. Another good way to get around Brighton is um, with bike hire. Hopefully it's not that particular bike. Faster to go down, down here. <laughs> I think it might be retro bikes. Oh, is hire. that that tandem bike thing? Yeah. <laughs> so some great places we'll to die. eat down by the beach. <laughs> we'll go and check them out. How much do you want to see Natasha and Debbie riding tandem? No. On the Brighton Pier. <laughs> Not the pier, but in Brighton. Come on. That's hilarious. We can do separate bikes. No, why? You don't want to ride with me on a bike? <laughs> We've done the ones before, but they're more like four wheel ones. Mm -hmm. on, on the Ohio River here. Not on the river. Next. Turn. On the path by the river. You know you want to see that happen. <laughs> what will I break and what will you break? We're not breaking anything. <laughs> you know it'll happen if we try it. We're too old to break stuff. That's my point. <laughs> we will. Just come across this tarot reader underneath here. How random and that looks spooky. creepy. Yeah, it does a little this? bit suspicious. A little sketchy. Mm. Right next to the sewers. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> in fact, tours? If we could walk in there, that would be amazing. It'd be smelly, it'd be amazing. Oh. <laughs> so on this part of the seafront, there's loads of different places to go and eat and have drinks. A lot of seagulls, Debbie. Very popular area for people to come. Fish and chips. On an evening. Don't eat them outside. You've got to watch out for the seagulls, though. Ice cream. Yeah, this is the only unfortunate thing about Brighton Beach. It's lovely, but it's just... Covered in seagulls? Full of pebbles everywhere. Mm. So it's difficult to lay on, to be honest. I wouldn't lay on that. True. But people do. It's an air mattress. I'm just kidding. What do we eat here? What's the, what, is, what are the good places to eat? Yeah, what's the best place? There's actually people out there doing swimming, Doing kayaking, yes. waterboarding. What do you say? Waterboarding. Waterboarding. <laughs> Shame about the weather today. I mean, it was beautifully sunny when I turned up, mm. and then this fog. What's that hotel? In. So you can't see it, but the uh, the I three sixty is just up here. We're gonna head just down, just on the beach, to check out some of these uh, restaurants and eateries. Ooh, They're down here. This is a so this is known as the artist quarter. Uh, cool. A lot of local artists come and sell their I paintings. I would buy something from here. And photos down I... here. Wow, I thought that was a uh, a photo, but that's a painting. Is it really? Look at that. Wow. Holy crap. Amazing. That is incredible. Dang. Amazing. Look mm. at the colors of it. Yeah, I'd bring one of those home. <clears throat> is that Wonder Woman's body? Yeah. Above. Uh -huh. Wow. Those are really good. Incredible. Yeah, they are. These gallopers have been on the uh, the beach for many years. Built into the promenade for all these little restaurants and shops. I was going to say it's nice we've saw it in the so sun. So in the comments. If mm -hmm. that... But we also see it in probably more of like the, I would say more, but... I, I, we know the UK's weather can change and it can be, you know, dreary a lot. Oh, sure. So I actually prefer to see it both ways, you know, with the mm -hmm. sun and this way to kind of see what, to, cause you can't control the weather, obviously. Sure can. No idea what it's going to be like when you get to any place. So it's good to see it both ways. It's still pretty. It's still beautiful. Uh, you've been to Brighton. If you love Brighton, give it a thumbs up. I remember having a drink in here before, actually. Shoosh. Long time ago. <laughs> That's I, mean. I love the fact they've got this, um, terrace now that they've built on the beach. Oh, that's oh, nice. That's cool. I like the little cool is that? foliage going around it. Pick up some uh, fresh 
fish down here. <laughs> Seagulls will take it away from you. That would be very fresh. Look at these boats here. I just wonder what those were doing there. This is Brighton's Fishing Museum. That's it's normally uh, open okay. and it's free to go in. Oh, I would totally go in there. Wouldn't you totally have fun in there? Yes. We like the fish. This seems so cool. Just walking down here and seeing all these little shops and uh, museums and all the artists there. Yes. It's just gorgeous. Fresh something prawn roll. Prawn roll does sound good, actually. Prawn crab and mayo roll sounds better. Lobster boil. Ooh. We need to try one of those. Can you make one? I don't know. I'll have to look into that one. See, Brian is so massive. It's like, where do you start? I know it is this big. Obviously, uh -huh. uh, the town, it's a city. It's big. It's massive. Um, but a lot of the, uh, there's loads of different areas where stuff goes on. Hey, I know what I've off license means. You can hire uh -huh. paddle boards out here. Definitely my cup of tea. Fifty percent off surf clothing. I feel like I break my neck paddle boarding. It's the only problem if you're eating food here. The seagulls are like yeah. taking over, man. <laughs> I wouldn't like that either. No. I keep thinking they're going to dive bomb me any minute. Mm. They do that. Do they? Yes. People have told us that on on. We find these stuff. little bits of uh, art on the beach. Tell her that they do. No, they don't. They, yes, they do. I'm, if you're sitting there hide. with your ice cream, they're gonna be like, Whoa. "No, I'm gonna have to hide somewhere." Tell them, your, tell them what you told me. What your plan was for walking around on the beaches with food. <laughs> Put this on YouTube. I'm gonna get one of those clear umbrellas that go around, and I'm gonna hide up underneath my umbrella and eat my ice cream. Will that keep her safe? Let and us know in the comments. that way, I can still see and walk, and but I'll be safe from the birds. Will she? Let us know in the comments. I want a bird come and peck my eye out or steal mm -hmm. my ice cream, pooping on my hair as well in Brighton that have been commissioned by uh, local artists. That's pretty cool. It's almost like a skateboard ramp. That's mm. I kind of thought about it actually. The food smells amazing. Can. I love this old little pub that's here as well. Oh, that's really neat looking. Fortune of War? Is that what that called? More fish and chips. I think they're going to be doing like a, uh, a food market in there. Oh yeah, <laughs> it says. So by the time you watch this video, this is probably um, already open. open. Yeah. So you would be able to see the other pier, which mm. we're gonna try and see in a minute. Brighton is the typically quintessential British seaside town. That's cool. And all the Victorian architecture has kind of been restored um, as you look around, I mean, look, 1886, this mm -hmm. has been repainted, retouched. That's good. They look beautiful, don't they? Mm hmm. So, what's quite handy are these little information maps on the seafront. It tells you where you are and how long of a walk it's going to be to your next point. So, for example, we're going to walk along the seafront here all the Ooh, way to the British Airways I 360, onto the Regency as well and then we'll stop at the steps and go into the town. But it's telling me that's about five minutes. That's it? That's about a 15 minute walk from here. Okay. okay. So it looks further These cool it. little beach huts. Okay, those are great. Those are awesome. Live music Could going eat ice on cream. here. Right on the beach. Little beach hut set in as well. It's really nice. There's so much here. So there are a lot of artists in Brighton and um, Brighton's very proud of its artists and uh, all the art installations that are dotted around the city you see everywhere, including um, here on the beach as well. Wasn't that what you were saying? Do you think so? Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. And there's the I-360, which actually is running today, but you can't see it because of the blooming fog. <laughs> and it happens, you're fine. This is so cool. I'm loving this place. I can see some blue sky coming out. There we go. And um, yeah, like I say, Brighton doesn't have the best beach in the world. 
but there's some sand been imported here for volleyball. And do you know what? This really reminds me of um, parts of uh, Venice Beach over in um, LA. Yep. With all the uh, stuff going on down He's here. He's absolutely on, right on about that. Yeah. You're just missing the like really fake tanned blonde chicks on rollerblades. <laughs> I think I'm going off the 90s. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but he's right. And the bikes and everything else. Yeah, no, yeah. He's, he's, he's totally right. Right there, yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. People playing basketball, look. See, could be in America. Could be. <laughs> basketball is the best sport. Don't get mad at me. First time I've seen basketball being played over there. You don't find many of these places um, on the East Coast, but um, here in Brighton, we've got the Open Water Swimming Club. And they um, they swim from here to where? Where all the buoys are located, you can see out there. Well, look at all the boats. Now, what's really interesting is just here, um, where the see. west pier used to stand. The uh, the footings of the pier oh. are still here, and um, it's kind of a, a nice memory, I guess to huh. what used to be a very grand pier, but um, suffered so much mm. with uh, bad luck, I guess, and fire. But look at these, which have been placed here. I wow. wish I could remember which video that was. I talked about mm -hmm. this for a moment. That was a long time ago, though. And just behind it, there is the remnants of West Pier. The reason why that is still there, it's actually a, a grade one listed building. So that's why it's left. It doesn't wow. look very nice. Mm. I agree, but um, that's why it's still there. Hmm. It's haunting. Hauntingly beautiful, actually. Mm -hmm. It and is. And we also have an upside what? down house here in Brighton. I haven't seen well. one of those since Tennessee. <laughs> Instagrammer's dream. If you want to check what these look like inside, I've got a video really on my channel, actually. Um, yeah, when I, I visited do. the one in Great Yarmouth. Make sure you check it out. That's what I always think. I always think so that's it's neat. one of the highest or the highest observation towers in the UK. Oh. And it is literally just coming down through the fog. Check this out. I ain't going on that. I'll zip line, but I ain't doing that. That's way too high. That, that's just crazy. That's you would zip line not be. Yeah, see if this we go on that, then you'll want a zip line because it's yeah. <laughs> trying here. That's great little play cool. park down here for the kids. See, you can get a little bit more sand on the beach in Brighton <laughs> if you look hard enough. <laughs> Well, we get kicked out for playing on that because we're totally just walking up to a very famous hotel here in Brighton. And in actual fact, um, this hotel was the first hotel in the UK Whoa. to get electricity back when electricity was a rarity. Now, that is stunning. that looks awesome. Yeah, I love all that detail there. That is beautiful. That is super cool. The King's Road paddling pool. Looks a little bit sorry for itself. I think it's still currently closed because of COVID, but um, should be back open again. I assume all this stuff. So this is the bandstand wow. in Brighton. It's a back grade two listed cool. building built back in 1884 and still stands proud and actually does host some, uh, some live music occasionally. Huh. Awesome. Just look how beautiful it is. It's gorgeous. I said when they first showed it, they thought it were neat. So named. gorgeous. A lot of uh, men have taken a knee down there, and mm -hmm. you know, good place to propose. Men and That's women. That's what I mean. I You've got to love the oh, Brighton true. architecture and the green-coloured theme going along the seafront as well. I had noticed mm. that. The green, which is, uh, and the blue, which symbolises all the railings, but also the colour of the houses make a difference as well. So just coming up to Brunswick Square, which um, wow, some very regal housing here. I'm loving this. I mean, it is yeah. absolutely beautiful, and yes. they are huge, and they're all painted this kind of like yellowy cream colour. Mm -hmm. And apparently, um, there was an order passed in Parliament, which meant that all these buildings must stay this colour, and that's why you'll see a lot of this colour. I like that though. Down okay. on Brighton Seafront. So if you're not like me and want to walk everywhere, you can hire these bikes. They actually cost 3p a minute 
It costs a pound to unlock it and then three pence a minute, a maximum charge of £12 per day. But, um, it's not bad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would get on one of these, but to be honest, I'm short on time and there is a map here of where you can actually put the bikes. So just leaving the seafront behind, I thought I'd very briefly show you um, Brighton centre. Cool, please um, do. There's like mm -hmm. loads of boutique shops in Brighton. There is um, way too much in this place though. It's some insanely cool. Some narrow huge. shopping areas in Brighton that are so beautiful. You come round the back of Whoa. the mountains. What tattoo shop? <gasps> and this Jeez. is the old Brighton Town Hall. Okay. Look at that. Double stacks as well. I mean, that's yeah, is. impressively cool. Italian restaurant. I'm liking this. So we can go up there or we're going to take a trip down the lanes. Either which way is really fun. pretty. I'm loving this. Mm -hmm. Food smells are amazing around here. Tim's hungry. <laughs> These restaurants start to open up. There's loads of little boutique little places to go and have some food. Oh, have cool. some drinks. Yeah, there Look is. at that. Pump house. I can take that several ways. Literally, like, where do you go? You mm -hmm. know, which road should you go down? That one. Next? That one looks fun. Yeah, that one. The lanes. Oh, good call. It almost feels a little bit Spanishy down here. Well, some of these shops down here have been here for about 150 years. Not obviously mm -hmm. with the same owners, but the shops themselves. <laughs> it's a very popular place in Brighton to come and shop. Wow, this is neat right here. Yeah, I'm loving every part of this. I, it's amazing. I, I like seeing all the different colored buildings. I did like the, the yellow cream in the beginning, but I kind of like the color better. I like all of it. That place, we have to go to that place. Mm -hmm. Trying to see as much as I can. So much, so much to see and do. And this is just like a small taste of it too. Mm -hmm. I was thinking how big it is, I had no clue. I was saying how Spanish these are. And there's a Spanish beer sign up there, Cruz de Campo. Or Cruz Campo, not Cruz de Campo. I said it feels Spanishy, but it also feels Italian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are so many cool shops. I just want to go in every one of these. Yeah. And just, like, I could spend a day and still not get into all the shops, just in Brighton alone. Like mm -hmm. any of the places where we see all these shops, you guys know it's one of the things we love about the UK. They're just so inviting and mm -hmm. so interesting looking. Hit me like one of your French girls. <laughs> I would have said the first time. <laughs> so thanks for joining me on this tour of Brighton. <laughs> Wow. So much more than I bargained for. And I know I'm sure a lot of you that are from Brighton or have been or going, that's nothing. You didn't show uh -huh. enough. And, but that's the way it always is with these videos. It and, is. And we don't want all of it. If we're coming over there to visit, don't want to see everything in the video. Cause then there's mm -hmm. nothing. It's like, oh, okay. We've seen this. You know, it's really cool to get that, that, that sampling of a place, get right? A taste that leaves you hungry for more. Yeah. And, and, um, then to be able to go and see all the stuff you didn't see, it's like, whoa. But mm -hmm. I mean, just seeing that one shot at the beginning where he showed the whole like, um, Seaside. Seaside area, yeah. sorry. Um, looking from the pier forward or mm -hmm. backward, how you want to call it. Um, I just still dumbfounded by how large of an area Brighton uh, is. Yeah. I just didn't know the city was that big. Um, so that kind of shocked me. But uh, clearly, yeah, there's a lot more to see and mm -hmm. do. And quite honestly, that's a place you stay for a good, I mean, at minimum weekend. Wouldn't you guys agree? I would think so. Minimum. What is your favorite place in Brighton? Yeah, favorite thing to do as well. Mm -hmm. um, what else to check out? Maybe we'll do some other videos on Brighton, if we can find some, that is, mm -hmm. of certain specific areas. Let us know where those would be. Um, I just thought that was, I was just so neat. I, I love that he walked us up uh, the seaside area there, you know, by the pier. Mm -hmm. All that stuff was really cool. I get during COVID when this was filmed, though, you know, it's harder to, to film things when you can't go inside yeah. them. Seems so eclectic. You know, yes. a little bit of everything. There's something there for everyone. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys like this. If you did, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. And um, yeah, it was, it was great. And let us know. Um, we have a couple friends in Brighton. Um, but let us know if you're from there. Say hi. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do hope that you enjoyed this episode of the Natasha and Debbie show. And we'll see you again. Don't forget.
pop-up Magic Monday this Monday. So have your notifications turned on. Until we see you guys, love like Jess. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye. Bye.